Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. As a Windows lover, I have set up Windows 11 for my day-to-day -day work. However, when I try to edit some document, I discovered that Microsoft Office was missing. So you can see on my screen, when I right click on it and click on the new, see there is no Office document. Like when you click, normally when you click on the new link, you get the Word, Excel and PowerPoint and other kind of stuff when you have an Office installed on your system. But here, it's not showing anything for me. So as you know, without the Office package, we are pretty much helpless. It's like having a car without an odometer. So you can drive, but you have no idea how far you have gone or how fast you are moving. If you also have bought a new PC without Office, then you are also in a similar situation. But don't worry, I have a solution for you. Microsoft is providing Office 2024 for free and personal use. So let's work together and set up Office 2024 on our Windows PC. Okay, for that, what we have to do is we have to go to um, our Chrome and then first you have to download the deployment tool. So this is the link for the deployment tool. So we have to go to this link and it says that this is the Office deployment tool and this is version 16.0. Just match this version and this is just the 3.6 MB and this released published on 4.15.2024. Okay, the system requirement for installing this tool is Windows. Either you should have Windows 10, Windows 8.1 or Server 2020. 2016 server 2019 windows 11 or server 2022 so instruction is a that is a self executable file that's fine so let's go ahead and download this okay this file has been downloaded on my system so what we will do is we have to create a base setup first so for to that we have to go to the c in the c drive just create one folder just click on the new and folder and uh, should be office 2024 and then we have to move that download that deployment tool into this folder so let's copy it and go to c drive office 2024 and paste it here so once you paste it here we have to extract this file so this is an extractable file so right click on it and run as a administrator click on the yes it says some agreement we have to accept okay accept it and then you have to give the file give the path to the C drive and office 2024 okay so you can see here this file is extracted now so we have to go to the other link where it says that how we are going to install this application we have to go to the other link and we have to see how to install this office 2024 this so Microsoft has given the article this is written article is written by the Microsoft officials so when you go back it says that install office LTSC preview and it says that this is the commercial preview you can um, install office 2024 or or project or Visio. So this video we are going to cover the Microsoft Office and the subsequent video we will cover project and Visios also. So the supporting operating system which uh, this office will support is Windows 11, Windows 10, 2021 version. This is the window, uh, window 10 again, this 2029, Windows 10 and server 20. 22. Okay, so now when we come back, these are the you can go ahead and read in the detail. It says this is how you have to run this in the console, and this is this XML file example they have given. Then they have then they have given the LTSC um, Office preview. These are the key they have given. So they have given the two key. The first one is your KMS activation key, and the second one is your Mac activation key. So just um, pay attention here. They have a two key. First one is KMS and the second one is Mac. So we require this both the key later in the videos. Just, just remember that. And then there are some uh, literature on that. You can go ahead and read this. But don't worry about this link. I'll share this link in the video description. Okay. Now, we first and foremost, we need this XML file. Just copy this one. And uh, so now you have to open the notepad. Inside the notepad, just paste paste the script xml script which you have copied here from here and then paste it here so after pasting here we have to remove so you can see here we have a three product here one is your office 2024 the second was is your visio and third one is the project so as of now we are going only with this office 2024 so in the subsequent video, we'll go with this Visio and project. So let's delete this project and Visio for now and make sure that you um, pay attention here. We have removed the both the information, Visio and project. And after that, we have kept this product and product after we have a add here. And then in this hashes, we have to go and add the product key. So we have a two product key, as I said, the first one is KMS and the second one is Mac. So first in this one, we'll add this KMS key. So just copy this KMS key, go back to the notepad and paste it here and save this, save as, and you have to save this file into the office 2024 folder configuration.xml. 
this should be the file name xml and save it okay save that close it now let's go back to our this folder office 2024 folder open that file and when you see this blue color you have to open and check whether this this you are getting this hypertext or not if you're getting this kind of values then you are good to go so now move to the second step second step is you have to go back to again to this deployment guide and when you go up you see this console it says that you have to go to the console and type this one so for the console so we are going to use a copy this uh, copy this information go back to command prompt so for command prompt we have to type cmd right click run as administrator yes and we have to change the path we as of now we are into windows system 32 let me uh, maximize that um, how do we do that okay we have to go and click on the fonts and let's say 20 is it okay okay so you can see i am on windows 32 let's go and type cd backslash and then type cd and office okay so see you have to write the command you have to say cd backslash so it will back to your uh, c drive and then in c drive you have to type cd a space 20 office 2024 then you are into this folder so once you're in this folder we have already copied that uh, executable command right so right click on it and paste it here you can see this says that setup.exe configuration xml okay please press enter so once you press the enter you can see this microsoft is getting ready so you this is the good sign for you so you have completed your first phase wait there it will download the file from the microsoft site and then we'll move to the second step the second step is the activation right so just wait here okay okay now you can see it says that microsoft office and install you are all set to go thank you very much Microsoft so close this one now let's see this office application so let's open the word and I can see we have a word here let's open the Excel which is used mostly on any of the system okay so it's asking about the sign in okay because I have not signed into into this application so it's asking about that don't don't worry let me log in okay so I have signed in with my account and now you can see this lovely interface of Excel but one thing just wanted to show you we though we have logged in here but is it activated let's go and check that so we have to go to the files and click on the accounts and it says that office is installed but um, this is not activated the activation is required what is in the word so let's click on the account and uh, you can see in the word also it says that though office is installed but this is not activated okay so let's go ahead and activate it so how to do activate it we have to i just said that we have a two type of key here the first one is kms key and the second one is mac mak key right so this time we'll go and copy this mac key copy it go back to your office application change click on the change the product key paste this product key and click on the activate office so you can see when you click in the activate office this activation wizard just go off from here right close this one close the office application whatever the office application is opened here just close everything minimize this one and reopen this office application so let's open this uh, word when you open the word it says that um, i want to activate the office over the internet yes i want to activate it this is guys this is the activation office uh, wizard so click on the next so it's connecting to the internet and trying to activate the license it says that thank you your copy of microsoft professional 2024 pv is activated congratulations guy you are activated your office free office close it now let's go back to account and you can see your product is activated wow that's a great news right yeah so this is how you can go ahead and uh, activate your office right so that's it for today's video if you found this video helpful please subscribe for more videos like it feel free to share your thoughts or suggestion in the comment below and let me know what topic you would like to see in the future videos. Thank you very much for watching my video. See you in the next one.